evening all uh, welcome back to another video um, so it's been a bit of a day today um, it's been a bit of a day at work and so uh, I thought that I'd come and try and chill out for a little bit in the garden but obviously as you can see out the window it's uh, it's pitch black I can't actually get out into the garden proper but I thought that I would start to have a look at what I can do so I'm in the shed raiding our vegetable store. Um, I need to go shopping soon. Um, but um, I thought whilst I still have some in here, I would pile up some potatoes that we've bought from the supermarket um, to start looking at doing the potato growing challenge that um, Erica's Little Welsh Garden has created just realized only half the lights were on so it might <laughs> might be a bit brighter now um but yeah i've come up to the shed to have a look through our vegetable store we've gone to uh, like monthly shops um since the beginning of last year when all this madness happened um and we're really really lucky that we have this big shed and the boy has very kindly cleared some shelves for me so that when i go shopping um I can stick any excess that we don't need in the house out here so we have vegetables and things like boxes of cereals and tins of sauce and stuff like that out here that won't fit in like the everyday cupboards inside um but yeah these potatoes I bought I think they were like 19 pence for a big bag at Aldi and I bought a few bags of them um because we eat a lot of spuds and uh, it was Christmas and uh, we usually get a few bags to get us through the month and we've got a few left. So I'm going to weigh some out now and try and get around about one and a half kilos so that, uh, so that I can take part in the challenge. I have my trusty festive tub that hopefully will fit them all in. I'm going to turn on my scales. These are getting a bit old and battered now, but I think they're going to be my garden scales. And uh, these are the potatoes that we have left this month. So we, I must have got a bit overexcited with the shopping because we still got quite a few. I think what I'm going to try and do is get some of the littler ones because they're harder to peel. <laughs> I'll keep the bigger ones for eating and um, use all the little ones for seed spuds. So I'll probably open the other bag and get them out of there. But I think these little ones, like these, they can go in my pot. Right, let's fish out some spuds. Right, these are all my potatoes. I think I've got a couple of varieties because... Uh, they're from different baggies. I've got some in there that are green, but that's fine because they're not for eating, they're for hopefully growing. I've tried to make sure that I didn't get ones that were too battered, like the ones that need eating sooner rather than later, like this one's got some holes in. So I've tried to get them all sort of little, little ones because I figured that will give me more plants. So I might get more potatoes. Is that cheating? <laughs> Who knows? We're going to give it a go. And um, as I have like a choice of spadatos, um, why not give it a try? So I've got quite a few now. Now I've um, got, what does it say? I've got 1,475 grams. So it's just shy of one and a half kilos but I don't want to go over and I have quite a lot of potatoes in there I have ordered my seed potatoes um already so I will be doing those as well mum and I are going to try and find space for these in a separate little spot so that we know that it's definitely these ones that we're growing but um, with the fruit cage moving it means that we've got more space so that's pretty cool so this is my little potato tub 
full of potatoes. There's just shy of one and a half kilos in there. And if you want to join in, Erica's Little Welsh Garden has got a video on how she came up with the idea. She's also got a video on the rules. Um, but from what I gather, the basic rules are one and a half kilos of potatoes. They have to have come from the supermarket, store-bought ones, um, not specialist seed potatoes. As I say, we eat a lot of spuds, so we'll be growing those as well, but this is just something for fun. Um, yeah, you can buy them from Waitrose, or you can buy them from Lidl. Uh, mine came from Aldi. I think they cost me 19 pence for a two and a half kilo bag at Christmas time. Um, they're probably a little bit more now, but not too much they're usually less than a pound um so i have chosen all my little potatoes out of that bag to use um to use as my like seed potatoes but the only other thing you need to do is plant them however you would normally i usually go no dig um so we'll be planting them like we do normally water them give them some love then dig them up later on in the year so yeah, nice and simple really, just a bit of fun so that we can all sort of join in together whilst we're stuck by ourselves. Um, cool. Right, so if you want to join in, feel free to search up Erica's Little Welsh Garden or look for the hashtag potato growing challenge 2021. Um, and she's going to create like a huge playlist um, with everybody in. I'm really excited to see what everybody else does. So yeah. Uh, let me know if you're joining in hopefully there'll be lots of people joining in because it's it's jolly good fun and it's nice and simple it's uh achievable for everybody i think even if you don't have a channel join in at home and uh yeah let me know how you get on and i'll keep you updated with my potatoes see you on the next one